Morning guys, it is Thursday the 4th of March and it's breakfast time. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I have got some bananas that need using. I've actually got 165 of these bananas that need using. Yes, you heard me right, 165 friggin' bananas. They were off Olio, and I thought I'd use a couple. I might make some banana bread later and give it out to millions of people. I'm going to use two of these because they're quite small. So I'm just having fruit and yogurt today. I'm having a panini for lunch. So I'll be using some calories on that. Not sure what we're having tonight yet. So I've got some strawberries that have uh, seen better days. Some of them anyway. So have some strawberries. I've actually got blueberries in the fridge. I'll stick some of them in and all. few bruises on there. Everyone is still in bed. I've just got back from my mum's. And I possibly will be going to B&M later because I want another box. One of the ones I bought with a lid. I want to get another one. So I will possibly be going there. Quite bruised these strawberries. That's that. That's enough strawberries. I've got some golden kiwi. So I will stick some of that in. I'm not kiwi fruit for yonks. And then I have got let me get a big kitchen roll. Some grapes. All of this stuff is zero count foods, so you don't have to count them. You can have what you like. So, a few green ones and a few red ones or black ones. Oh, that's one on the floor. Let me just get some blueberries. Put a few of these blueberries in. Mm -hmm. That one's a bit, a bit funky. So, you can't get better than that on Grow. A nice big bowl of zero counted foods and then some of this foyer I'm going to tip out the water nice big couple of dollops of that double check I did get 0% yeah on top And that is my breakfast today, which will keep me full up until lunchtime and I'm not going to want to snack on anything else. So that is my breakfast, guys. It's completely zero count, no calories used. 
and I will check in with you at lunchtime for a panini as it stands now. But you know, I like to change my mind. But yeah, paninis are what we're planning. So happy breakfast, guys. So guys, I have just put together this chili. Um, I've got 5% mints in there. A load of cherry tomatoes that needed eating. I have cut a red, cut red pepper up, an onion. I had some really small, thin carrots, which I've diced up. Put them in. Um, two tins of chopped tomatoes and a tin of taco mixed beans from Tesco. I've also used this JD seasonings. Um, for, you know, for the flavouring. So the only thing out of that whole slow cooker I've got to count is this tin of beans, which is 350 calories for the whole tin, divided between six people, just over 58 calories a portion. So that will be a nice low um, tea for us. I am going to make some garlic bread with some garlic gold and some baguettes that I've got. And I'm going to probably serve this on crispy potatoes for the boys, my mum and my husband, Waza. And I'll probably do some chips or a jack of potato for me because the crispy potatoes are the pre-bought ones in Tesco and I'd have to count calories for them. But yeah, so I'm going to stick the lid on. I'm going to make lunch now for everybody. And that is going to be on low until at least, well, it's 12 now. And I will leave that on until about 7 probably. Maybe a bit later. But yeah, that is going to be our dinner tonight. What I'm having for my lunch is 409 calories. I've had to count my um, panini roll and some red Leicester cheese that I've used, which is in there. I've made a cheese and onion panini. These are some eggs that I boiled yesterday when I was trying to make soft boiled eggs for the kids. And they are two different eggs and you can see the difference in the color on the yolks. They're expensive eggs, they're cheaper eggs. Um, yeah, I've just used the sandwich toaster and I've put the panini plates on it and done paninis. So I'll put on screen the calories that I've used and the onion and the eggs are zero counted. And I've just put some salt onto the eggs. So I shall catch up with you in a bit. Guys, I have popped out with my mother. We're off to B&M in Cardiff because I wanted to get a storage box, the same as what I've got with a lid on, to go underneath my breakfast bar to hold like carrier bags and stuff so they're like neatly away and not just shoved under there. Um, However, Warren measured the hole and he reckons that it will fit at the top but not the bottom because my breakfast bar legs are on an angle. They're meant to be, but they're on an angle. So I'm going to have to find one that's a bit narrower. So we're going to the big B&M that you can park right outside. My mother wants to look for, what did you want to look for? Kitchen equipment. Oh, you're thinking of cooking up a storm, are you? I wouldn't mind a couple of pint glasses as well. So I've rearranged my kitchen cupboards and I've got a bit more room. And every time we go in there to get a glass, there's never any in there because they're all in Mackenzie's bedroom. I don't need 
need anything else? Whether I buy anything else? Well, you know me. I go in saying I only need something and I come out with whatever. Our tea is nicely cooking in the slow cooker, Mum. Cheese. Bloody cheese. No, I do not put cheese in my slow cooker. Our tea is cooking oh, in the tea. slow cooker. Oh, your lunch I sent you down, didn't you? Yes, very nice. Mm. I sent her down um, the same panini I had. And she had Pringles as well. I didn't have any Pringles. Right. Let's go off to a b and Right, we're on our way back from B&M now piddling down with rain and we're in rush hour traffic because we decided, well I decided to go when it was time to, you know, rush hour. Uh, Mum got a couple of bits, didn't you? A couple of biscuits and what else did you have? Biscuits, a glass, she wanted a glass to take up so she could have a drink in the bedroom. pretty pink one. I got some glasses, I got some boxes, I got some sweets, I got some nibbles. Freaking love them things. Bad few, I know. They're quite high in calories, but in moderation you can have them. They were lemon meringue nibbles. I might see if I can account for a couple of grams of them later. Um, I'll show you what I got when I get back. Um, and then it'll be time for dinner. Chili and homemade garlic bread. How delightful, Mum. Hello? Hello? Uh, oh, I was just saying. Never mind. It's dinner time soon. And I'm saying I'll send it down. How delightful. Yeah, do you hear that? Whatever, you just agree, yeah. You just agree. And everything will be fine. My sister rung me. Her plane's been delayed. She was at the bottom of the stairs, ready to walk on. And they told the horse and bugger off that they had run out of flying time. And they were postponing the flight. So she's been stuck in the airport. Apparently there was fog, so they wouldn't allow them to fly. And then by the time they did allow them to fly, they'd run out of their time to be in the airport. On the runway or however it works so it's been rescheduled so that makes the fact that plans that she had for today before she came to Wales has gone a bit belly up she was going to see her friend and she's booked a hotel and stuff so that's a bit of a pain and she said Harper State she's hoping to get on the next plane mother's back in her house I'm back here oh that's me crutch left it there um yeah B&M so 
Warren is always moaning we haven't got a bucket because the bucket we did have broke. And I'm like, oh, I'm not getting another bucket because there's a bucket hanging around in my utility room all the time. I saw this collapsible bucket. Ideal. So I can sling it in the cupboard. Um, let's see what it's like. It's probably not. It's, I mean, it's a good make. Addis. Since 1780. Hang on. Hold that, babe. Dexter next to me. Oh, it's got a massive lump of glue on the bottom. You can pick that off after. Sure. Job for you. Oh my god. Yeah. Look at that. That's like a big massive glue patch. Yeah, that'll come off in a bit. So, Dexter just said to me, oh, I can give you a foot spa in that bucket. Aren't I lucky, eh? Oh my god, it's really stiff. Obviously, if you just wanted a little bit of water, you could have it like that. Oh. That's it like that. Must be like a flower pot. Ooh. You can get exactly the same version of a laundry basket in this, mate. You know, that's not bad, you know. And it's quite stiff. I was expecting it to be... Um, if I don't do it with a knife, you'll scratch all the bottom. <laughs> Um, Warren, I was expecting that to be really flimsy. Look, it's not. It's quite stiff. Mm. Feel it? Yeah, it's good. It's alright, isn't it? Mm. Oh, quite impressed with that for six quid. It doesn't feel like it's going to collapse, and that's really strong. It doesn't feel flimsy. So that was bargain for six quid. Do you want me to leave it up? Dexter's going to get the glue off the bottom. I've just given him a chilli a stir. Right, I bought two of these because under my breakfast bar in the kitchen, I chuck all my carrier bags, bit of this, bit of that out the way because nobody really uses the breakfast bar because I've always got crap underneath it. So I wanted a couple of storage boxes and I bought one of these last time I went. But Warren measured it before I went and said it's a fraction too big. And then when I was there, I noticed that there was cheaper ones, and then I twigged. They were different sizes. So the one I had for my front room to keep blankets and stuff in was extra large, and this is just large. So it's just a storage box with handles. However, it has a lid. Um, they were eight pound. I bought two. Um, and because it's got a lid. I can put one on top of the other so I can keep all my carrier bags and all my paraphernalia in these and stack one on top of the other look and then you won't be able to see all the shall I say crap under my um, breakfast bar it'll look nice and neat this is this then yeah they look good they do right so if you want any of them storage boxes boxes bin in eight pound for the large ten pound for the extra large i bought these scampi and lemon flavor bites they are 540 calories per 100 grams but they're five packets of doesn't say how many grams Imagine this, went like 25 grams. Let's have a look. They are 15 grams. That's the size. So I actually got two of them. I got Warren's favourite crisps, Seabrook's beef. They don't float my boat, but they float his. 126 calories a bag. Warren's two weeks have gone like that. It's Friday tomorrow, his last official day off. Obviously, he's got the weekend. And he's back to work. And he takes these to work. So I got him a box of them ready for going back to work. And they are 36 calories for one. I got some Pringles. These are barbecue sauce flavour. They're the multi-grain ones. 
and they are 158 calories for 30 grams. I got some of these because off Olio, it's a food app. I did an Olio for somebody the other night, only a small one. However, they gave me the biggest bag of body bananas. 165 or more bananas are in that bag. And I've had nobody request them. They've requested loads of other stuff, but not bananas. So, um, I'm gonna make a few banana breads and give them to my friends because they're always saying they can't make it um, and they like banana bread and stuff. So I bought these. If I give them banana bread in these, I am gonna have my tin back, have I? So I bought them and they're handy for sending stuff down to my mum in. I've never seen these before. Ketchup flavor, ketchup flavor Pringles decks. Um, so I got them for the kids to try. They are 154 for 30 grams. I don't know if it's my imagination, but they don't seem as long a tin. I got them. We're nearly out of dishwasher tablets and they only had really, really expensive pouches or like these ones for 2 dollars There are only 15 washers in there, but I got them just for now. Very. I got some Maria biscuits at just 22 calories a biscuit. How good is that? You know, if you just want something with a bit of sweetness, although they're a very boring biscuit, they like morning coffee. Um, there's two um, columns of biscuits in there and they're like a, like a quid. And if the kids want a biscuit, they eat them, you know? And I thought if I ever want one, 22 calories, that's nothing, is it? I picked up two tins of beans because I know we haven't got many beans left and I, I just picked them up. Beans, calorie-wise, you're looking at 168 for half a can, but these are a zero-count food. I got these jelly beans for myself because I like to eat rubbish like that now and again, all the time. Um, these are 384 for 100 grams, and there's 120 grams in there. What else did I get? Oh, I got a little bit more sugar in case I need them for the banana breads. This sugar is 400 calories for 100 grams. I got, I got four of these giant jammy dodgers. They've been out for ages, but I got, Warren wouldn't be interested in one of them. So I got one for myself and one for the kids. There was 75p for one, which I thought was quite a lot, but it's a nice treat, you know? And they are, I remember looking in the shop, like 200 and something. Yeah, 224. So I got four of them. Um, I've got some 98 calorie curly whirlies. What else do we have? Oh, and I haven't bought these for absolutely ages. These are 98 calories as well. Chomps. Um, I got just a cheap tomato sauce because if you watch me regularly, the kids just go through it for, for fun. I like the odd bit of tomato sauce. We're not tomato sauce snobs. Any tomato sauce. 97 calories for 100 grams. So that is them. I picked up these glasses because we're getting short on glasses and some of them are looking a bit tatty where all the like stuff's come off and the kids take them up to their bedroom and I thought these were good for the fiver and they match my kitchen because they're grey. Um, they're just like... Um, it says printed highball glasses. That's just, you know, just four glasses. Be what? Be They'll be gone, yeah, in Mackenzie's bedroom probably. These are the chocolate nibbles I mentioned. I freaking love chocolate nibbles. They are the best. But I am going to um, be liberal and just have a few, just for a taste. Count calories. Count calories. What? Your opinion, right. I'll let you have some decks. Anyway, those. They did have the original ones as well, but I thought I would just get them in case I went into some sort of frenzy and thought I'd eat them all. Um, it says limited edition desserts. So it says they're made with real, real milk chocolate, biscuit, caramel, and dusted with icing sugar. 513 for 100 grams. 
don't, I looked in the shop and I couldn't see how many grams is in this actual bag. Probably staring me in the face, but no. So I'll just weigh them, but if you can't control yourself, do not buy these. What else is in my bag? Oh, I'm telling you, I like to buy shit, right? And this is shit, but the, you know, i got young kids. They like to have a bit of shit as well. This is toxic waste. Kids love toxic waste. It's sour lemon slime syrup. I thought that would be nice over a bit of fruit, you know, get a bit of healthy bits in there, you know, um, or ice cream or whatever. It is, so shit, I'm reading the in ingredients. Hmm. Acid, food coloring, mint, methyl cellulose all that yeah i won't tell you anymore oh anti-foam it's very good very good for you and it is only 17 calories for five grams so yeah toxic waste uh what else we've got in here we have got i've got a few of these because i sent pictures to my friends although michelle didn't answer me in time when i sort of gone out the shop and I was like I'm sorry but um I got these anyway they are air fryer spices and I'm looking at the ingredients in them right and there's no sugar or anything in them so I'm gonna say oh this one actually has got sugar in it but that one haven't. Has that got sugar in it? Well, that one have. Right, these two have got sugar in them. So I would count these. Southern fried seasoning and chips and potatoes. They're air fryer. They were 79p, dirt cheap. And then this one hasn't got sugar in, so I'd be tempted to just have that. And it says garlic and herb. It says great on pork, fish and potatoes. So yeah, that's them. And I got some of them for my friend. So that is them. And then the last um, couple of things. I had two tins of tomatoes. Tomatoes are a power food, zero count food. Power food and zero count food is the same thing, by the way. It's just whatever comes out my mouth at the same time. And, oh no, I did get light bulbs. Our bathroom light. Warren, there's the light bulbs, if they're the right ones. If they're not, yeah. shame. Yeah. Right, I bought these. I don't know whether these are going to be nice or whether they're going to taste like arse because they're off the shelf and you don't have to put them in the fridge or anything, so they might well taste of arse. But we'll have a go. I'll get them all out the bag. They are... Little puddings. I've got one of each. They're 69p each. Hang on a minute, sunshine. He's like, can I try one? They are um, little puddings. It's ready to eat puddings. Pud pots. So this one is a blueberry cheesecake. Watch my um, thing. And... I can hardly, the writing is so small in there, I can hardly read it. 158 for that one. And it's got like bits on top that you shake in. And it says on there, no no need to refrigerate or anything. So I don't know whether they're going to be a bit blamange. We've got a chocolate mousse and that looks like it's got like chocolate chip bits on it. That one is 222. We have got a strawberry de lace. And it's, um, this is the calories on that one. So, 158. Oh my gosh, my eyes. And yes, I still haven't found my glasses if anybody's interested. I know some of you now and again go, have you found your glasses yet? But it's not a question I haven't found them. I haven't really looked for them because I don't go upstairs very often. This one is 200. My God. Dexter? Mm. Tell me how many calories is in that. 
What's that number in the single pot? It's 200 and something. It's the colour of the... You can't, you can't work out either, can you? Yeah, I'll give it back. What, where is it? Which box? Which box? The one right at the top? No, the one over. It's all right, give it back, please. It's fine. Thank you. He's obedient. Dexter, give it back, please. I know you can't read it either. It's the writing. I'll put it on screen for the rest of them because the cut... Yeah, you have a go, on. What's the calories on that? You can't even work it out. I know, it's small, isn't it? None of us can read it because it's so small. I will stick it on screen. But this one is chocolate cake pudding. And it's got like, what looks like little balls of crispy chocolate and vanilla-y things. So there's that one. And then this one is an orange chocolate pudding, which has got the same looking balls on it. But there. And then we've got a salted caramel one, which again looks like it's got the same balls on it. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about them because they're not in the fridge or they're not, you know. But then you get like um, them sponge puddings, don't you, that are on the shelf. You don't have to put them anywhere. So, yeah. We'll give them a go and I'll let you, let you know what they're like and I'll put the calories on the screen for the others. But uh, that's everything I got. I didn't go too mad. Um, I've just given the chilli a stir. It's half past six, so about an hour's time. I'm gonna make some garlic bread. I've got some Sheldon's um, oven but a bottom muffin. So we're just gonna have a muffin each. Just gonna put some garlic gold on it. Maybe a bit of cheese, I'll see um, what the calories are like that I've got left. And uh, I'll catch up with you for dinner. So that's my shopping haul. One very exciting, but it's quite nice to see what people buy, isn't it? And more often than not, I buy a load of rubbish. But there we are. I'll see you for dinner, guys, in the next clip. Roll VT. Hey guys, it's dinner time, and this is 498 calories because I've made garlic bread. They're Sheldon's Oven Bottom Muffins, and I've just put garlic gold on them and grilled them. The way I separated mine from everyone else's, I just snapped a cocktail stick in half and stuck a wooden stick in my one so I knew that they were mine because I'd measured my garlic butter and everything. I've got jack of potato underneath there, no butter. That's the chili I made, which came in at, I think it was 70 calories a portion. And I've got 40 grams of cheese. So I'll put a breakdown on screen, but that is my dinner. So guys, I just came in the kitchen because I was going to have a curly whirly. I've got 398 calories left and I was going to have a curly whirly, but I decided to save my calories and not use them because like you say, they're not a target. So I'm not good. I've just been doing stuff in the kitchen. My all-in-one smart a thermo cooker has arrived. That is it there. I will be unpacking it tomorrow. There's all my ninjas behind me. All put away to bed for the night. Right, I'm absolutely knackered. I'm boiling hot. I'm gonna go and watch a bit of the tube and edit my video. And I'll see you all tomorrow. And if you want to see a bit more of this all-in-one smart thermo cooker, it says 18 present functions, app guided recipes. So we shall see. And um, yes, come back and I will open it tomorrow. Bye, guys.